Hey everyone, and thanks for jumping back into the Cryptoverse. Today, we're gonna to talk about Cardano and its native token, ADA. So if you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up, and also check out the Telegram channel, which you can find a link to in the description below. Well, let's go ahead and jump in. So if you guys remember, we've been talking about ADA a long time. We talked about it over here when it was just a few a few cents. And and we back when it was over in this regime, you know, I, I did say, at some point, when the risk goes up here, people are going to want to start FOMOing in, but this is not the time to FOMO in, right? You have plenty of time down here at three cents, at four cents, at five cents. And and so what I'm color coding, if you're unfamiliar with the channel, is I just have a risk metric for ADA against USD, color coded from blue to red, and it tries to identify key times to enter, enter the market. So this is a long accumulation phase. And, and now that you can see we're starting to get into this regime, well, it, it's somewhat reminiscent of, of older times. Now, the risk levels are dynamic. So, right, it, it, you know, you, it changes over time. So, you know, the price at 10 cents over here corresponded to a lower risk than it did, it did right here. But generally speaking, I would say this is an accumulation range for ADA with it slightly popping out a bit right here. To show you what I mean, back, when, back in 2019 and 2020, when the price of ADA was less than 10 cents, and the risk was less than 0.4, I was aggressively accumulating as denoted on the channel back then. However, I contended that once ADA got above the 0.4 risk level, which also corresponded to 10 cents, I would stop purchasing ADA. And, and I did, because you know once it gets up to that level, the, the realization was like, okay, well, the risk is getting kind of high. We had plenty of time to accumulate it at these lower levels. There's no reason to continue to enter. Um, and there's plenty of other assets out there, right? You can also invest in. But you can see that recently it, it's dipped back down below. So the risk has come back down below the 0.4 risk level. And to give you an idea of what I mean by dynamic, you can see that the price is currently higher than it was over here, but the risk is lower. So what, what that means is ADA is essentially getting accustomed to the new normal in a sense. So like, the fact that it's around 10 cents and not immediately getting rejected, meaning the it means that the risk, by the way this metric has it defined, is lower um, because it's actually proven itself to hold this level and not immediately get rejected. So before, when we came up to 10 cents, you know, the risk was, the risk would have been higher because we were, you know, at this point right here, because we really were in, in uncharted territories locally for at least the last couple years or so. And the last time we hit 10 cents, uh, the last few times we were just basically rejected. So when we hit 10 cents over here, you can see that the risk level was actually closer to, to 0.4, um, 0.45 or so. And that actually recently we've come back down and the risk right now is, is less than 0.4. So the argument, right, of course, is that ADA, theoretically speaking, if you're accumulating it up to a risk of 0.4, which I would consider a moderate risk tolerance for ADA, and a lot of altcoins, then this is a theoretical reaccumulation zone. Now, if we go look at if we go look at trading view, and we take a look at the price of ADA, um, this is a is just a metric that I usually have for, for Bitcoin. But it is interesting to note that this is the the red line is the twenty week SMA, and the green line is the twenty one week EMA. You can see that right now the price of ADA is essentially encapsulated between these two moving averages, and it actually looks like it's holding the 20 week moving average as some level of resistance. You can see that, you know, we're, we're coming right up to that 20 week moving average uh, week over week. And that's where we're ultimately holding as, as resistance so far. If you look at the valuation of ADA against Bitcoin, you can see that, you know, it, it has found a little bit of support in this regime. It even came all the way back down here, but it has found a little bit of, of, of support in this regime and it hasn't it hasn't continued this bleed in the short term most notably because um bitcoin is it's at least holding the 20-week moving average so during this time ada was bleeding against bitcoin now it's more or less moving sideways which is actually somewhat impressive because a lot of altcoins do bleed against bitcoin during times like this ada has has tended to stay fairly okay with it if you just look at it over the last um, month and a half or so which is also the time since ADA has been, since Bitcoin has been testing the 20 week. So the move, the move here was actually when Bitcoin was, was moving up um, and, and ADA was dropping a little bit. This is more some sideways movement, more or less, despite the fact that Bitcoin has been testing the 20 week. So it might be gearing up for another move here. 
Um, but I'm, I'm, I'm guessing that what ADA is doing is it's more so waiting in terms of getting more resolution from what Bitcoin's going to do, because so far, week over week, for the most part, not every week, but Bitcoin tends to be moving upwards, right? So for altcoins, we know the primary thing that we need is for Bitcoin to be bullish and moving sideways or slightly upwards. But right now, Bitcoin is, you know, it's it's been moving from 10,000, now it's at like 11,700 over the last several weeks. So I imagine the altcoin market is waiting for a little bit more resolution from Bitcoin to either calm down and move sideways, or if Bitcoin drops, then a lot of altcoins will drop too. If you look at the ADA Ethereum, the ADA valuation against Ethereum, you can see that we did come down into this lower regime as well. It doesn't mean that we can't come back down to it. You can see we came down to it over here back in, in July of 2019, we came up to the top and then we came back down. So it's possible that something like that happens again. Does not mean, of course, that ADA has to, has to lose value against USD. It could just be that Ethereum goes up, right? Maybe Ethereum has, has a nice, has a nice uh, move. So again, um, ADA is my primary hedge against Ethereum. It, it took a completely different approach, of course, rather than doing what Ethereum did, going to proof of work and then having to transition to proof of stake later. ADA just like said, you know what, we're gonna we're gonna not even bother with that step. So you know, let's just go straight to straight to what we want it to be. So you know, one of the things that one of the things that bothers me when when people talk about ADA um, is when people call it vaporware. Right, you know, it, it's somewhat it's somewhat of of a of a ridiculous um, way to describe ADA because you know it, they release the tokens well in advance, right? And 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 the idea was okay, they're building the platform. You you have a chance to get in now if you want, okay? And you had a chance to get in at two cents and three cents and four cents. Now, I will be the first to tell you that ADA, in my opinion, had no had no reason to be part of the last market cycle, right? It had no reason to go to a dollar thirty or whatever it went to back in December, January of 2018. December 2017, January 2018. Had no business doing that. Okay. So now that it's slowly moving up, I think that it's it's really starting to figure out okay, what is its fair valuation? But it's building up a higher launch pad. So back here, you know, the launch pad that Ada bounced off of was, I mean, it, it doesn't actually show it all the way back on, on this one on Binance, but I mean, I remember it when it was like two cents um, back in, in 2017, and it, it quickly went to 13 cents. I remember watching it go from like two cents to 13 cents in a relatively short period of time. Then a few weeks later, it went from like 13 cents to 39 cents. And then a couple weeks later, it went to like 75 cents. And then another week later, it went to like $1.33. So I think that right now we're just slowly building up a, a, a baseline of support that we can actually try to hold. So this isn't a, a bubble, right? I, I don't consider what ADA is in right now as a bubble. In fact, I consider it to just be continued accumulation. So instead of doing what Ethereum did, you know, ADA is just saying, okay, we're not going to do proof of work and then transition to proof of stake. We're just going to build out the proof of stake and then, um, you know, we're just going to go, go with that rather than having this complicated transition. So. For me, it's it's a it's a hedge against Ethereum, and so this is why I often look at, at these the valuation of these assets against other assets like Bitcoin and Ethereum because it's important to look to see how they how they react to one another. One of the things you can note is that the ADA Ethereum ratio tends to reach in this regime every single time it goes on a major move. So that's certainly something we're going to continue to watch if ADA does go on another move. Another thing to talk about is the fact that we kind of see this you know, these, these cycles in a sense, right? And if you follow my channel, you also know that we've talked about lengthening cycles. And, you know, one could argue that we're seeing lengthening cycles between ADA and, and Ethereum. So maybe the next one will look, you know, look something like that. I don't know. Um, but my point is, is that ADA is in what I would consider theoretical reaccumulation mode against USD, against Bitcoin, against Ethereum. And that um, it might take it a while before it has a major move again, but right now it's it's looking for more resolution from from Bitcoin and, and figuring out okay what is Bitcoin going to do, and then the altcoins will will then move accordingly. So uh, let me know what you guys think. If you guys like the content, please subscribe to the channel, give the video a thumbs up. Also check out the Telegram channel. You can find a link to it in the description below, and also check out the premium list at IntoTheCryptoVerse.com if you guys like the content. That'll wrap it up for this video. I'll see you next time. Bye.